species with that piece. So all these really uh, join together to create a mixture of serious issues for the patient which needs uh, commitment, compliance, long term. Um, as uh, Professor Farimina said, that Professor Sarbourias is a very, very senior and one of the most influential psychiatrists in the world. And uh, um, this, he and Professor Lloyd from the UK were the two key pioneers for this international initiative on the dialogue of depression in diabetes study. And there are about 20 countries, more than 20 countries now in it, and uh, some of them are mentioned here. And this initiative was uh, first uh, started. I think these slides are, Farid has already discussed, I'm not going to repeat them. This is exactly the same. But Farid is doing it in primary care, we are doing it at the tertiary care level. This was the group which met uh, um, in uh, Manchester about uh, a year back and that is when this initiative was rolled out and started and uh, everybody was on board and we were all facilitated and uh, we decided to go ahead with it and uh, we have completed the first part of the study which is phase one and uh, almost completed it and uh, I cannot share the full information with you at the moment but I think what we found is staggering results where the people who are actually uh, attending a thirsty care hospital where all the doctors are very knowledgeable about mental health matters and we have a psychiatric service just two, two rooms away. Uh, the number of people who are actually seeking and have been detected is very, very tiny. And in fact, it's less than 10%. That is all, the only part I can share with you. So by the end of the year, we have the two phases complete. Um, so, before we did this, uh, we started this uh, international initiative, we've done a pilot on our own hospital and uh, I'll just share those results with you. Um, <coughs> again, the diabetic clinic, which is a very busy clinic in Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences, we uh, arranged a pilot study and we took a sample of uh, 52 patients with type 2 diabetes and uh, a control group of over 80 participants made match for sex and age. Um, we, the inclusion criteria was a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes and uh, those uh, in, and the control group was non-diabetic so we volunteered to have the fasting blood sugars. Um, we, the exclusion criteria was people who did not want to be part of the study and who did not volunteer to give a blood test. Again, some of the demographic results, uh, some of the information that was obtained, some of the tools, the WHO5, the BHT9, the HDS, the quality of life scale uh, were used in the study. Um, again, approximately equal number of males and females were enrolled in the study. Uh, the mean age for the diabetic group was at around 50. This is type 2 diabetes. And uh, um, again, just to show the breakup of the age, um, most of the patients, 82% um, of the sample of the diabetic patients were married. Um, the schooling level was reasonably good for a population from Islamabad. It was a good uh, chunk of the people who were well educated, which again shows how important uh, even in the educated population this problem is. Um, <coughs> most uh, half the sample was employed, 